Okay, this is the P3 paper from October 2023. It's question number nine. Um, have a quick read through of it before you play the video. This is a functions and graphs question in particular. It's going to be a modulus function. We're going to be solving modulus problems. A little bit later on, we'll be doing some work on logs and exponentials. So if we look at the question, it says we've got a curve with a sketch of this equation here. And it tells me it has an asymptote to x equals k. It tells me it hits the axes at a and b there. And that's what all this information here is telling me. But part a then says, can I just state the value of k? It's only worth one mark. So hopefully that indicates to you it's a relatively straightforward bit to do. Let's do that right before we do anything else. Part a then. So we said the equation is y equals modulus 2 minus 4 log x plus 1. And then when we're looking at this function, it's that part there that's of interest to us when we're trying to work out the equation of the asymptote. What we're going to have is you can't have the log of a negative here. So we've got to have um, x plus 1, excuse me, x plus 1 here has to be greater than 0, which means that x has to be greater than minus 1, or in other words, k is equal to minus 1. Part b, when we're looking at that, it says, right, okay, can we find coordinate of a and can we find x coordinate of b here? And as we said just previously, right, for part b, well, what was our function? Our function was y equals modulus 2 minus 4 log x plus 1 and for a that's going to be where x is equal to 0 so simply sub that in we're going to get y equals modulus 2 minus 4 log 1 there log 1 is equal to 0 so we're going to get 2 minus 0 we're going to get y is equal to 2. Very straightforward. And then for b, that's going to be that y is equal to 0. So if y is equal to 0, I'm going to get 2 minus 4 log x plus 1. Modulus of that is going to be equal to 0. So we're just going to need to solve this equation now. So if I'm doing that, then... 2 minus 4 log x plus 1 is equal to 0. Which means that 4 log x plus 1 is equal to 2. Log x plus 1 is equal to a half. At that stage, e both sides. So we get that x plus 1 is equal to e to the half. And so x is going to be e to the half minus 1. And if we go back, that's why it said for those two questions, or for that part, find the exact value of the x-coordinate. Let's have a look at part C while we've got the screen there. So it says, using algebra to show you working, find the set of values for which the function is greater than 3. Let's just go back and have a look at our graph here. So we know that value is 2 there because we've just worked that out. So if I had the function equals 3, y equals 3 would be there. I'm going to get two possibilities here. Um, we haven't really talked about the function here. This function would have carried on all the way down there if it had just been 2 minus 4 log x plus 1. But the fact that we have these modular signs in here means that we get it going up there as well. So this is the original curve, and this is once the modulus has taken effect there. That's how I'm going to find these two points then. So what I'm going to do, let's go back and actually do that algebraically now, explain what we're talking about. So for part C, we're saying, let's tell the examiner what we're doing first of all. So 2 minus 4 log x plus 1. And we want to know when it's greater than 3. Okay, so let's talk about the two 
values I highlighted, they're called critical values. So the critical values are going to be where 2 minus 4 log x plus 1 equals 3. And then we'll be able to talk about inequalities after we've done that. Uh, and when we're looking at those then, as I've just explained, one of them is going to be where 2 minus 4 log x plus 1 equals 3. That's where the original graph hits it. And the other one is going to be, in effect, the minus of that one there. So we're going to get, <coughs> excuse me, um, minus 2 plus 4 log x plus 1 equals 3. And I'm now just going to solve these two things separately. On the left-hand side, I will get minus 1 equals 4 log x plus 1. I'll get log x plus 1 equals minus a quarter. E both sides. x plus 1 is going to equal e to the minus a quarter. So x is going to be e to the minus a quarter minus 1. On the other side, I would get 5 is equal to 4 log x plus 1. I'm just running through that then. So 5 over 4 is log x plus 1. x plus 1 equals e to the 5 over 4. So x is going to be e to the 5 over 4 minus 1. <coughs> Excuse me. And then if we go back to the graph here, what we want is the value which is less than 3. So that's basically that part in there. So if that's the situation, then we actually want that x is going to be less than e to the minus a quarter, minus 1, but x is going to be greater than e to the 5 over 4, minus 1. Let's just check I've got that the right way around. We wanted... Sorry, we wanted greater than 3, so you're going to have to ignore me for a second there. My voice is too croaky to do the video again. Um, sorry, we were looking at those two parts where it's greater than. So it would be to the right-hand side of this function and to the left-hand side of the other one. Those two solutions there. Okay, hopefully that will make sense to you.